Hi everybody, His Nibs here with a look at another of the Conklin Heritage Collection limited edition pens. And this time we're going to take a look at the sleeve filler. And uh, again, this is manufactured in Italy and really beautiful uh, pearlescent brown resin. Actually, all three pens, the sleeve filler, the conclinetta, which hasn't arrived yet uh, as I record this video, and the uh, word gauge piston filler are uh, all pearlescent in appearance. And as I mentioned in uh, the word gauge video, these are each limited to only 98 pens in each model worldwide. So by the time this video is up and probably by the time you see it also, uh, these are probably all gone because it's only 98 worldwide per model. But the good news is that Conklin plans to uh, have additional models of the sleeve filler, word gauge, and Conklinetta in different Italian resins and probably uh, a couple different ones a year. So even if you miss out on this uh, initial introduction of the models, uh, keep a lookout on hisnibs.com for the next iteration, uh, hopefully in a couple of months. So the sleeve filler, um, actually I should mention that uh, both the sleeve filler and the word gauge come in the Conklin nib sizes F, M, and the stub. And I'm actually, there may also be a broad for these now. I've been pushing for that. Uh, you'll have to check the, uh, the website about that. And, uh, but I've heard that the Conklinetta will be a slightly smaller nib and only come in the M size. Now, as I've mentioned on the uh, Conklin pages on hisnibs.com, uh, I find that the Conklin nibs run a half to a full size narrower than a typical Western nib. So B would be like a medium, uh, an M like a fine, and an F like an extra fine. The stub is 1.1 millimeter, so a medium stub, generally. Okay, so you have uh, engraved on the barrel Conklin sleeve filler. Hopefully you can see that. Probably not, because the light is reflecting off of it. Uh, made in Italy, and then the specific number of this pen out of 98. And... I haven't seen a sleeve filler in a modern pen for a while. Uh, this is a great design in the golden age of fountain pens. And what you do is, uh, I'm not going to do a filling demonstration with this one because it's been spoken for. And even with distilled water, it's a little difficult to dry out in time to, uh, to send to the customer. So I'm just going to show you the action of the sleeve filler. What would normally be considered the barrel is, because it's only part of the barrel, is, is, is called the sleeve now. So you're going to unscrew the sleeve and reveal the filling mechanism. Now the sleeve itself stays attached to the pen, so you're not going to have to worry about losing that. And the filling mechanism is a pump or squeeze filler. So here you have the sac, the rubber sac, reservoir, ink reservoir. And you have a squeeze or pump bar here. So all that's involved is, of course, putting the nib and a bit of suction into your bottle of ink 
And while it's there, and what's really nice about this is it's one-handed operation, is with your, I wish I could see what I was doing. It might help for you to be able to see what I was doing. Uh, what you're going to be doing with your thumb is just depressing the sac and releasing. And as it's released, a partial vacuum is being created in the sac and ink is being sucked up into the sac and the ink reservoir. And while you continue to keep the nib and section in the ink, you're going to do that a number of times. Some people say five, six, you'll find out what works for you to get a, as full a fill as possible. But again, and I'm sort of in my own way here with a video, and I apologize for that. But with the thumb on the um, squeeze bar, you're just going to put the nib and section in the ink, and all you have to do is squeeze with your thumb and release. Wait several seconds, squeeze with your thumb, and release. And do that a number of times, four or five times. So it's really one-handed operation, which is great and you can keep your other hand on the ink bottle for security. Then once you've filled that, all you have to do is screw back the sleeve onto the barrel. Of course, you're gonna blot your, nit, your nib of any excess ink, and you are ready to write with another really beautiful vintage Conklin design. So please uh, follow the link that you see below in the video to see not only the sleeve filler, but the word gauge and eventually the Conklinetto, although I have some pictures up there now. I don't have, have the actual pen in hand to demonstrate. So thanks for taking a look at the video. Hope you enjoy these beauties from Conklin. Uh, again, they're limited editions to 98 pens of each model, and they retail for $295 each. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.